Hi guys, Barnaby for Spurred On. This is part two of this week's Youth Watch with our expert on young men, Craig Vi. Uh, that sounded all wrong, uh, but what I mean is the expert on Spurs' academy. Uh, I don't know about the other thing. Anyway, uh, this is part two, and Craig, you're going to tell us that a lot of our young uh, guns have been called up to their international teams. Tell us who. Yeah, yeah. Kind of, some kind of top of the pops-esque rundown. I'm going to do it for you. I'm going to do it right now. So the call-ups were Ali and Dyer for the under-21s, Velgovic for Serbia's under-20s, CCV for USA's under-23s. Uh, that's the side that they're putting forward for the Olympics uh, next year. Harry Winks for the under-20s, Anoma and Kyle Walker-Peters for England's under-19s, Edward Sterling and Alfie Whiteman in goal for the under-18s, Jaden Brown, Keenan Bennett and uh, uh, Sammy Shashoshua uh, for the under-17s, <laughs> Owens and Paul for Northern Ireland under-19s, and Jack Roll for Cyprus under-17s. Boom. It's very exciting. The one that stuck out for me was Harry Winks. When he came on the other week, I thought he looked really good uh, in, uh, it was in Europe, wasn't it? In yeah, Europe it was. Against yeah, Carabag. yeah, Carabag. Uh, he looks like a really good player on the mm. ball. Um, he's a bit bigger than Tom Carroll, but I, I just wonder, is there ever going to be a time where Tom Carroll and Harry Winks are going to be trusted in the Premier League because they're not big, you know, because of their size? Well, I, I, I think Harry Winks will be given more time than, than Tommy Carroll because he's younger. Um, he's just breaking into the first team. Tommy Carroll's obviously been there and thereabouts for quite a few times. He's had a few loan spells, yeah. been and come away. I, I just, I like Tom Carroll a lot. He's very inventive. Uh, but, but is he just too lightweight? That's my question. Yeah. Harry Winks, I still think, has got to develop physically as well. I mean, he's quite a big lad anyway, but I, I, I see him coming on a bit further than Tommy Carroll and being given more chances. Okay. He, he played well, actually, for the under-20s. He, um, he, I think there were two games, and uh, he, he got substituted in one, came on uh, late in another. Um, this and is he's the, put England, in, the England yeah, For the England yeah. under-20s, yeah, and he put in a few... He's got a really good range of passing. Again, he is a, mm. he's a, Harry Winks is a technically gifted player. Um, and he, he played some beautiful balls. One in particular that set up a, a scoring chance that we didn't con um, convert, but it was a beautiful lob ball. Uh, and he's got that in his locker, so he was good. Okay. But there were some other notable performances Go too, yep. actually, that I wanted to talk about. Marcus Edwards, you know, it just feels like we're going to be mentioning this kid all of the time. Yep. Uh, he is very, very talented. Uh, he won a penalty uh, and Sterling, and that was for, of course, our under 18s. Uh, and Kaziah Sterling scored the second goal against, in a 2 0 win against Holland. Both of them playing quite well, looking quite good. Josh and Omer. Uh, of course, for the uh, England under-19s. And Kyle Walker-Peters actually yep. played at right back. Um, and we've got the uh, European Championships uh, coming up uh, next season. And he's going to be in uh, competition with a, a, a right back from Everton. Um, but I, I think he's going to have a good chance of going to that and, and okay. playing some games. I saw uh, him play in Australia in, in the yeah. first season. That was pretty, he looked pretty pretty on the ball. Yeah, pretty yeah he did. And Anoma lashed it, absolutely lashed in the equaliser against uh, Croatia. Okay. Um, uh, it was a great goal, really good strike. Um, Sammy Shashoa and uh, Keenan Bennett. Now, Keenan Bennett is a player I haven't really spoken about that much recently, but uh, he's wanted by, he plays for England, of course, he was also wanted by Nigeria and Germany. I think that says quite a lot about a young player. Um, and he, he's quite an exciting talent as okay. well. Um, plays, he can play anywhere across the front, really, but mainly on the left wing. Uh, a talented dribbler of the ball. Uh, he looked very, very lively. Both him and, and uh, Shashoa um, won penalties in, in the first match. They were, they were taken by somebody else. But uh, he, he stepped up with some nice assists, actually assisted uh, Shashoa for a goal in the second match, which was a 2-1 win against Turkey. So that was good. And finally, I just want to mention Jack Rolls, okay. who plays for Cyprus under-17s. Uh, they had two matches recently. Uh, he, he came on... Jack it was Rolls, a, and he Jack plays Rolls. for Cyprus. Yeah, that's right. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Mm. He's got uh, Cypriot um, blood. I can't remember whose side of, of the family he's on. He once went to a Cypriot restaurant, and now that's he it. is eligible to play yep. for the national yeah, team. Yeah, yeah. Him and, uh, and Stavros Flatley. Um, and <laughs> he plays for Ireland, <laughs> presumably. <laughs> <laughs> no, Stavros Flatley, they're the... Uh, did, you not, did you not watch The X Factor? Was it The X Factor? I do know what that guy looks like. He's a weird-looking yeah. guy, yeah, I remember. Yeah. I've played him, actually, in the Celebrity Soccer Never 6. Never watched The X Factor. Right. No. Um, no. Anyway, yeah, carry on. Uh, uh, and uh, he came on. It was a match-changing performance. He was brought on. They were losing 2-1 against Luxembourg. Uh, and he was brought on... Oh, in the big Cyprus-Luxembourg derby. Big, big Cyprus-Luxembourg derby, yeah. Made an assist and scored a goal. And then he scored as well uh, and, and was probably been their best player of those two matches okay. in a 4-1 in a loss to Belgium. But All playing right. well. So that's good. So that's uh, uh, sounding good. We should mention, because we haven't spoken to you since the deadline day, when uh, yeah. Ishmael Azoui ended up leaving the club going to Wolfsburg. Now, he oh. was highly rated and was... Voted best player in the Under-20 World Cup? or The Under-17. The Under-17 World Cup. European so Championships. Why did we yeah. let him go then? What was that all about? Well, I hate to say it, but I think it's about money. Hmm. 
I really do, because the club really wanted to keep hold of him. They yeah. really wanted him to stay. And maybe we should have paid him bigger money. But the, the, from what I hear, the money he was asking for, you, you know, some of the, the, the players who are stepping up to the first team aren't even on that at the moment. And, and you, you can't be doing that. It, it, it's a real shame. He is a real talent. And um, I, I thought he was going to go places at Spurs. Right. He's saying that he wanted to go to Wolfsburg because he was going to get more first team opportunities. I don't know whether that's going to be the case, to be honest with you. He, he may well do, but um, it, it's just one of those things. It's a real shame to lose him. Do you know what? It um, reminds me of the uh, in the olden days. We lost Nicky Barmby too early. He ended up going back up to Millsbury, and we lost Graham Souness really early and ended up becoming one of Liverpool's greatest ever players. Yeah. I really hope that this one doesn't come back to bite us like those did. Yeah, and, and you get a feeling that it might, you know, because uh, he, he on that sort of Belgian um, travelator of... Uh, yeah. Travelator? Right. <laughs> uh, what am I talking yeah. about? You know, the thing that goes along in the supermarkets. And these players. Es no, uh, anyway, they, they're, they're really producing some good, good talent. Tra after trolley, <laughs> just to say trolley. Uh, After Adnan Yanazai. Conveyor belt. Conveyor right? belt, yes, the yeah. conveyor belt. Thank you. You know, they've all got those motors and they go, you know what I'm talking about. Uh, the Belgian conveyor belt of, of good young talent. talent. Yeah. yeah, you know, he, he is up there. I'm, well, I don't know yet, but he could be the next sort of Yanazai. So, you know, that's Ugh. that's going to be one that we... I anyway. Think Sorry, sorry to, to leave it go. on a bit of a negative, but in general, it's been a good couple of weeks, good couple of months for uh, our youth team. S certainly Doing for well the internationals. internationals yeah, 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 big time. All right, well, let us know uh, what you think about our, our young guns in the comment section below. Don't forget to subscribe to the channel and follow us on Twitter at Spurred on TV. Craig, thank you very much. We'll Cheers, see you buddy. soon for another thank Youth Watch. How's it going, everyone? And as you can see, hashtag Team Craig is back in full effect. Yeah, baby. Yep. Justice League, Avengers, we are back. Heroes at your beck and call. And we are here to deliver you some brand new Spurverts. You know Spurverts, 